Good morning, Jennifer. Today we'll be looking at how to create a grade report. So I'm starting here in PowerSchool Sys and I'm going to my home room right here. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do this. One would be to give a teacher report. The other way would be more like something you might print for parents. And it's launching kind of slowly, but that's okay. We'll get there. Um, we'll start over on the reports menu on the left hand side of the screen once we get this thing rolling which for some reason is taking an inordinately amount, uh, long amount of time. So I have my term two assignments here you can see those I can also go back and view term one. I'm going to leave it on term two just because that's where we are right now and it really doesn't matter on the reporting process anyway. Over here we have reports so I'm going to click on reports. And first I'll assume that you just want to look at their grades. So we'll go to the final grade report right here. And then I need to set this up. So I'm going to call this one trial two so I can keep track. Now first thing I need to do is choose what classes I'm going to report on. And for the purposes of today, I, I'm assuming you want to get all of your classes. And so that will tell you out here to the side what classes you've selected. I don't have any custom class names. The next thing I can do is, do is choose what student field I want. I know I'm listed by name, not number this time. And my sort options, my gradebook preference is set to last name, but I'll set it here. I want their points, their percentage, their grade. I don't think I want to comment. Here's where I choose the reporting term. And you can see it's defaulted to terms one and two, but I just want term one, as you suggest. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner is run. So I'll click run the report. And as you recall, that will pop up under the bell here, your notification icon that tells you you have something in the print queue. So we'll open the queue. And as you recall, this was called trial two. So I'll click on this one. And you may not have seen it, but it downloaded to my downloads folder. So I'm going to open it now. And this would show me sort of their final grades of term one right here, if that's what you wanted to see. Now, assuming that may not be exactly what you wanted to see, <coughs> let's jump back to um, our reports again. And this time we want to choose a different report. I want an individual student report. Maybe I want to print this for parents. So I'll pick individual student report. And now I come back again to this view where I set my parameters. So I want to set this as individual student report. I'll call this one trial two. Again, it defaults to the class you're in, but I'm assuming you want all your classes. So you can click that live here. You'll notice it tells you what classes you've selected. If I had a custom class name, I'd check this. I'm not worried about that. I don't need their full schedule. It's going to do that for you kind of anyway, because you've selected all their classes and you're their main teacher. Um, separate report by student. Checking this box will give you um, one page per student or a couple of pages per student depending on how long your report is. On my layout, I want it by student. I want to choose students. I could go gradebook preference, but I'll choose last name. And then assignments, I want those done by category and then by due date, but you could choose by due date, newest, oldest, so it kind of matches your gradebook and so on. Uh, data to select. So this is where I'm going to come in and say I don't care about comments. I do want their citizenship grade if I assigned one. Standards grades and I want their standard score which is by default off. I'll turn that back on. Category totals. Pick what you like here. You can turn these off and on as you choose. Showing assignments with no data. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that if I didn't have any but I'll turn it on. Standards identifier. That would be the uh, core standard. Uh, student number I don't need. Now this is where I select reporting term. By default it's selecting both of the ones we've uh, been through, the one we finished and the one we're in. I'm just going to get term one because that's what you asked for and it will tell you right here on category totals the same. So I just want term one. It tells you out to the side what you've selected. Down here I want all their assignments, their scores, their categories. I could go through and check all of these but I don't have to because by default it wants all of them. Now when I click run on this report <coughs> excuse me, it's going to generate a zip file, which is a pretty big file. So I come to my notifications bell that tells me now I have three items in my queue. And as you recall, the last one we put in was this trial two on the individual student report. And you can see over here it's running. This status can take a minute because you're generating a lot of data going through all your grade books for every student to pick up every score from term one. And that can take a few minutes. So we'll let that chew for a second. You can see now I've got the check mark. All I need to do is click its name. That's going to download that zip file to my hard drive. Then I can open that up and that's going to come up as individual student report one. Now these are kind of 
interesting because as you see it generates a page for every student and because I picked all of my students I don't know which one's which until I open one so I'm gonna come in here it's probably the student whose name starts with well marshmallow and this is the report it generated for her so you can see it's got kind of overall grade here's her citizenship totals um, standard final grade I didn't have any in that grading period it looks like and then I've got assignment scores she's on two pages okay I hope that covers your um, report needs um, if it doesn't be sure to let me know and we can work again on generating the report you want. Again, it doesn't look exactly like my student, which is fine. I think this is much better. It is a little bit longer, but much better. Meanwhile, have a great day and Merry Christmas.